Guys, been a long time since I uh, did any kind of uh, update video or any video for at all. I put up a video the other night for the ice water challenge. It was kind of more for for some friends of mine and whatnot. So I was thinking about calling some people out on Facebook about or uh, YouTube on that, but uh, yeah, I didn't. Just did friends. So anywho, it is I don't know June, middle of June, eighteen, nineteen, something like that. Uh, what are we on the second day of summer now? And it's uh, it's actually pretty nice out here. I'm I'm, I'm happy. Uh, I took Friday off because I threw my back out. Uh, wasn't at work. I did it before work. Actually, before work Thursday. But uh, so I took a, a day and a half off of work, and so I've got a long weekend. And it's kind of nice having all these extra days off. Like I said, it's Sunday now, and I feel like I don't have to do anything today, even though I will. So. Figure I'll just uh, walk around, show you some stuff, because it's been a long time since I did any updates on anything. Vehicles, property, house, me, whatever. So, let's get this started. There's the uh, the property Jeep. It's still hanging in there. It's probably got some new uh, scratches and dents on it from, from getting her back into the, the back 40. But, uh, yeah, nothing's really changed. It actually runs better than it used to. It's, it starts right up now, and... It's, it's filthy in the back because I've been using it to haul scrap wood and scrap metals and stuff out, so she's actually doing really good. There's the uh, Saturn. It's hanging in there. I uh, still drive it every day to work. I haven't done anything to it. It does need a thermostat really bad. It's, she doesn't get hot at all. And it's starting to affect the, the lock up on the torque converter. So I got the part for that, just need to do it. Uh, I've had issues with the, the uh, windshield wiper switch. I bought a new one of those, but of course, Rock Auto sent me the wrong part. So I got to send that back and try and get another one. You know, people are always commenting on this thing they see sitting around. It's uh, still sitting. It's a Pearson BA350's old truck, the 94. It is for sale. I don't think he's posted it or anything yet. There's a few people at work that have thrown some lowball numbers at it, but it is for sale. If people want it, please buy it. <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully he'll get around to posting it. And it's starting to get kind of grown in over here. And in the uh, front corner of the shop here, you can tell it's uh, completely stuffed. Uh, I don't really have much room in here right now, so things kind of just get piled up and tossed around. The fair lane I haven't touched, besides push it back and forth to make room for stuff. The Polarises, me and Pearson BA350 have not even touched them since we took them out to Walker. Well, I took mine out to California. Ran great in California, blah 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 blah, you know, whatever. Didn't have any problems with it, nothing spectacular. Put a, another, I don't know what I put, five, five more hours on it or something like that, ten hours, I don't know. It's up to like 15 hours or something like that. But yeah, there's uh, just nothing going on in here. This was kind of cool. Did this last weekend. Uh, I don't know if anybody remembers. There was a, a wall that uh, split this shed in the middle about 70 30 or so or, or less. I think they did it for like a chicken coop on the small side or whatever. But I knocked, well, me and, me and the roommate knocked out the wall last weekend. And now I have this nice big shed, which. Both the lawnmowers fit in a lot better. They're kind of just tossed in here weird. Uh, Brian, that's your mower, and somehow it seems to be missing a seat right now. I need to borrow your welder. Your seat might be on mine right now. Um, this here, I actually just picked that up yesterday. It's a weight bench. I'm going to replace the cheesy little one I have in there. Uh, it's a actually really expensive weight bench. About a two thousand dollar setup there. I picked it up for three hundred bucks from somebody I know. So that was a pretty cool score. Couldn't pass that up. Hopefully, start working out again here soon. But yeah, I'm digging this new big shed. Got room to move around once I get things uh, adjusted and hung on walls. I got to figure out where to put my uh, my uh, fishing float there. Maybe try and hang it from the ceiling or something to try and keep the the mice out of it. 
As you can see, everything is nicely grown in out here on the property. I love it out here, it's so so green. But uh, this here is the, uh, I don't think I mentioned anything about it, but that's the roommate's Jeep. It's old, uh, I think it's 67, I think? J, oh, I don't know these things too well, J2000, 3000. J3000. Old school, I love these trucks. Yeah, can't really see much in there. It's got a really bad transmission leak. I guess it's got a cracked case, but the transmission itself is also bad. Lost some gears. So, the engine runs great. He fired that up, it runs smooth. And it's got some, some ghetto little glass packs under there. Neat Jeep, I like these. It's got the old uh, the Gladiator front end. What is, the, is that what he calls it? That style. Maybe I'll make a more in-depth video of this later on sometime if I get his permission. Your axle update. He doesn't know what to do because I told him to stay. Come here. Come here. Yay. It's kind of warm. He says it's hot. He says it's hot. He had a big day yesterday playing. I let him run around outside the fence a lot. Even went and checked out the neighbors one time and oops, lost track of him for a little while but eventually I, I was yelling for him and I heard the neighbors say he's coming <laughs> and another five minutes later he comes trotting up and lays back down at the house yeah, this is kind of a cool thing I I found recently uh, if anybody's into plants and gardening and, and, and I don't know farming and different things I'm glad I didn't rip these bushes out because they look like they are blueberries See, they're just full of them, so hopefully that's what they come out to be, and I don't kill myself eating them. They got all sorts of little berries on them, so we'll see. I think that's what a blueberry bush looks like. A lot bigger than I've seen before, but they're probably pretty old. Also got a couple more out there. If you can see, just past the big tree, there's two of them there. So, and this is what the big thing going on around here right now is all the berries. I don't know what the orange berries are, but they're kind of everywhere. And then they kind of mixed in with the, uh, zoom in on those, the nice red ones. I don't know which berry is which, so I don't eat them. So I figured out. I assume you can eat them all. I'm guessing that's a raspberry. These orange ones, I, I believe, are actually ripe. I think it's a different type of berry. Salmon berry or something like that? I don't know. I thought they were different. Uh, I haven't actually seen any blackberries, but then again, I cut out all those vines, so I don't like them anyways. But yeah, you can see everything's just grown in. These are all berry bushes, so yeah, I need to figure out what they are and start eating them. Here we are at the uh, back of the house looking forward. This is the stump that I took my back out the other day. So, I'm starting to dig it out. Got them big roots out so I can uh, start cutting them and slowly work on getting just take the whole stump out in one chunk once i start cutting roots it should go pretty quick the digging was the, the hard part the back breaking part uh probably can't tell but there used to be a little stump in the ground there that we always had to mow around there used to be oh, zoom it in. two stumps there one there one more over there and then oh yeah that one over there there's a stump there from the tree that we cut down when I moved in. Those are all gone. I dug those out by hand. That was fun. Just show you how nice and, and mowed all the grass is. Mowed all that a couple days ago, Friday. Uh, took about four to five hours to do it by myself. Holy cow, I need a bigger mower. Brian, uh, Pearson BA350 didn't come out to help me on this one. I probably didn't even tell him about it. But it was a Friday and he was probably working, so... That's alright, yeah, there's the old pond in the back here. It got pretty low. That log that goes all the way across, usually that's under the water. I didn't even know it went all the way across like that. Uh, all those lily pad things are sticking way out. My creek that goes across back here probably isn't flowing right now. Uh, it's My little trail got all grown in too. Need to clear that out. But that's alright. Not much to look at back there if it's not flowing. So. I don't remember what kind of fruit tree this was. I remember it had a bunch of ripe ones on it when uh, 
I moved into the place in November. It's got got some fruits growing on it. I trimmed it up a little bit so I can uh, mow around it easier. Dug the grass out around the base of it. Same with that. I guess that's a, a tulip magnolia tree. It's got them big white flowers on it. This here is the uh, Japanese maple. Haven't trimmed this one or dug it out because there's a bird nest in the grass underneath it. So I figure I'll let them do their thing. Let's see if you can't see them. It's right in that little black spot there. Little birds are quiet and don't move. And they just hide in there all day. Probably can't see anything. But I see the mama bird coming and going all the time, so they look like they're getting fuzzier. I just hope they uh, don't get found by a cat or a snake or something. I've seen a few snakes out here last week or so. Uh, moving on. Here's the uh, fire pit. It's got all the stumps in it that I dug out. Birds scaring me from the other side there. There should be about four stumps in there. Of course, some of those stumps are so rotten they came out in just pieces. But yeah, let them dry out. And they'll get plan on doing a little shindig this uh, 4th of July, so dug out all this wood out of the back. Threw it under here so it doesn't get wet anymore. It's kind of, it's old, but it's all cut up and just going to let let it all dry out. It's all solid, so. I doubt I'm going to need that much for one night, but, but you know, just got to get things ready. The old 53, she's still sitting. Haven't uh, haven't done anything with her. Yeah, I open the doors once in a while. Battery's disconnected, so hopefully everything's still good to go. Don't notice any rat or mice uh, nests or nothing anywhere, so that's good. There's the Jeep, same thing, still sitting. I'm not driving that because it needs a windshield. It's just too hard to see out of at night because it's so scratched up from from mudding in the sandy mud of California. But yeah, it's pretty much ready to go. And there's the uh, Silverado. My poor, poor baby. I don't know if you heard in Pearson BA350's video, but I got rear-ended in it on my trip down to California. Oops. Might not be able to really notice too much. But she bent the, the bumper down. If you can see the lines there, they don't line up right. And the hitch is angled down with it because they're all mounted together. Tailgate's down right now. It actually got rear ended with the tailgate down, but luckily the, the Chevy Volt that hit me slid right underneath the tailgate, just lifted the tailgate up on the hood. Didn't damage the tailgate at all. Of course, I had the ace on the back of the tailgate, so I had, you know, a good 400 pounds on it. But didn't damage it. She had an insurance uh, appraiser come out the other day, and and uh, I'm basically clear to take it in and get it fixed now. So start working on that here soon. But other than that, everything else is good. Haven't done anything to it. Lots of plans for it, but kind of. There's some drywall there I'm doing on the inside of the house. I'm kind of waiting until I put a roof on this house before I start spending any money on anything else. I know that's going to be a big expensive thing, so. Uh, probably should have got somebody out this weekend to come at least give me a, a price, but I just feel like I had too many other things I need to get caught up on. So maybe next weekend I'll try and get someone out to give me a price and get it done. We'll see. Can't wait to get that done because I can start spending money on other stuff. Start extending my fence all the way around and let the dogs have some more free run. Uh, that, and then I want to run power out to the shop. Better power. So that I can actually run my air compressor and all that good stuff. But yeah, just inside doing drywall, fixing a, a section of wall I had to rip out for a mouse 
had a mouse issue that chewed through some wiring, tripped the breakers and stuff. So I think I uh, yeah I made a little video of that. I'll have to put that up sometime, ripping it apart. And then there's a, a corner in the house that I'm, I'm trying to fix too, but just the workmanship in this house is, is pretty shoddy. At least this part they extended onto. So the drywalls, the work is just garbage. Way too much mud. Some areas have like a half inch of mud. Most joints have about a, half, a quarter inch. It just seems excessive to me. I don't know drywall, but when I start having to redo stuff for workmanship, that's pretty bad. <laughs> All right, so there's your uh, update. This is that'll be your spring update. So uh, the one thing I didn't mention was uh, Cadillac. I sold it. It's gone. Sorry, people. I know there are some people out there that sorry that liked it. You know so. But it was just one of those things, I, I felt like it was a project I never really needed. Of course, who needs who needs projects, but it was one I could get rid of, and I just felt like I was starting to get overwhelmed, so I got rid of it. Uh, I was considering getting rid of the 53 too, but it was kind of like, mm, maybe I'll hang on to it for a little longer, do some more stuff to it, actually start driving it around some more. But yeah, so, oh well, Cadillac's gone. Just have to uh, try and concentrate on all the other stuff now. Hopefully the fair lane, but the way things are going this summer, I don't know. Uh, but that's it. Nothing too exciting going on around here. It's kind of going slow. Maybe thinking about going to a first shift at work, transfer over. I feel like I could probably get some more stuff done after work than trying to get stuff done before work. So we'll see. I might, I might put in that request this week. I'll have to think about it one more time. But there you go. There's your update. Until then, talk to you later.